Welcome back to the Survival Gardener Minute. I'm David the Good. Today's question is from Dirt is Better Than Diamonds. And they say, I'm planting a Meyer lemon and an orange tree this week. I was thinking maybe down by the swamp and now I'm definitely doing that. Then I don't have to really water or fertilize as there's plenty of muck. I will add some oak leaves to the hole as well. Anything else? Okay, first of all, as uh, you too, Dodo says, I believe citrus like well draining soil. That is very true. I had a friend of mine who planted citrus trees and then later he built a nursery and at the, at the nursery, the runoff from the nursery where he flattened it out and he put his plastic for all of his plants ran right down to where he had his mature citrus trees. And after a year or so, the trees started to get yellow leaves and they were not looking happy. And so, he called a friend of his and he said, what's going on with my citrus? I've been feeding them everything and you know, I've taken care of them. They've been great for years. And the friend said, it's the water. The water is soaking those roots. They are not happy. They will not be happy. And eventually they're gonna decline and die. So don't plant citrus next to a swamp. Um, plant them on dry ground. If you ever notice in Florida, it's well draining sand and it's, it's not down in wet areas. So don't put citrus down there. I mean, it's, I understand, you know, there are trees that will do well in wet areas, but it's not citrus. And another thing, when you plant your fruit trees, don't put anything in the hole. Now, I know this sounds crazy, um, but I had, been, I had been going back and forth with, you know, dumping stuff in the hole or not dumping stuff in the hole. Sometimes, yes, I will throw a rabbit or a chicken or something like that at the bottom of the hole but I don't change the dirt of the hole. So what I'll do is I'll dig an area and make it loose and then plant the plant in it because you run a risk if you have poor soil and you have an area, like say you, you hatch it a hole into some clay and you fill that area full of nice potting soil and you put your tree inside of it, the tree's roots do not want to go out into the native soil. So what it tends to do is circle that area. And I actually had that happen in Tennessee where I had a, a tree get knocked over and I realized this tree had been in the ground for like two years and it had almost no roots outside of the original pit that I had dug. So you're better off using the native soil and letting it work a little bit, putting some mulch and compost on the ground in a ring a little bit further out from the root zone. So what, what's gonna happen is it's gonna reach out and try to get that fertility or you dig it and you plant it right in there and you dig holes here and there around it and you could dump in some stuff, but you want the hole where you actually plant the original root ball um, this is what I've heard from the University of Florida, so take it or leave it. You know, if somebody wants to do two of them side by side and let me know which one does better, that would be awesome. But um, the new research is showing that it's best to just plant trees in the native soil, fertilize on top of the ground, mulch on top of the ground, throw compost down, wherever, in an area around the zip, the drip line and farther, and let it find that fertility and grow out into the native soil. So that's my two cents on planting citrus trees and you know how to go about it. Nice sunny spot if possible, and make sure that it's not gonna be wet. And if, you're, if your yard is so wet that it's all swampy, dig some mounds and make them higher than the ground and dig some channels between the mounds and then plant on top of the mounds. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe as we get through the apocalypse together with the regular Survival Gardener Minute that is never actually a minute. Uh, God bless all you, and until next time, your thumbs always be green.